According to a study done by LendingTree with the help from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, West Virginia has the fifth lowest rate of improvement in seatbelt usage. Newswatch reporter Anna Saunders spoke with local law enforcement and medical personnel to find out why and talk about the dangers of this statistic. Buckling your seatbelt, it may seem simple, maybe even muscle memory for some of you. And yet, according to a recent study, less than half of West Virginians are doing it. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration data from 2017 says that only 49.3% of people in West Virginia were wearing a seatbelt at the time of a fatal accident. While this is a 6% increase from the results from 2000, it's still one of the lowest in the country. There's been a lot of statistics ran for people wearing seatbelts and wearing, you know, not wearing seatbelts, and higher percentage that wear seatbelts might go through the wreck. And with this low rate of seatbelt usage, there is also cause for concern about children in car seats. So in 2017, over 600 children died in passengers as passengers in vehicles. And it's very important to keep children in car seats, seats that uh, protect them. Um, it decreases in children less than three, it decreases the risk of death by 75%. State laws require that all children up to the age of eight must be in federally approved car seats. And regardless of age, state laws require that everyone must be buckled in while in a car. So with the statistics and the dangers, why is it that some still don't wear seat belts? A lot of them is uncomfortable. They say they're uncomfortable. They don't like being restrained. I think there's a myth that wearing a seatbelt can cause injury. And yes, it can to some degree. I mean, I as a nurse that has worked emergency nursing for many years across the board. I've seen some um, slight mild burns from um, airbags. I've seen some marks go across folks' chests from seatbelts. But I can tell you that ejection from a vehicle during a car accident or even a rollover can cause much more injury and fatality. Reporting for you in Fayette County, I'm Anna Saunders, Newswatch. If you have a car seat and are not sure if it's federally approved, you can get that checked out at most local fire departments and the West Virginia Department of Health and Human Services.